Hello and welcome back to another episode of Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death in World of Warcraft Hardcore where I'm playing my Frost Mage. It is time for Black Fathom Depth. It has taken quite a while uh, to get the group together as the dungeon is difficult to access. People really don't like to run it but I've assembled a group and I'm as ready as ready can be. We're going to go in with a priest, a mage, shaman, hunter and tank warrior combination. And I sincerely hope the guys know what they're doing because this dungeon can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. I'll be eating my stamina food just in case every little bit counts. <coughs> and unfortunately I don't have any protective potions left, but we should be good. 1100 hit points seems okay. Good. It's one of uh, my favorite dungeons simply because I like Nagas and I also I like Murloc, so what's not to like in that dungeon? Let's uh, also reset uh, our damage meter. And give it a go. Let's see how well we're overall performing. It's not only about the DPS, it's also about not pulling any extra aggro. controlling whenever needed all right so the place consists out of quite a uh, bit of uh, trash mobs. I hope we're not skipping too much. Good, so far everybody is uh, doing their parts. And the warrior definitely knows uh, the place. Or is a little bit uh, more careful not to just rush in. I'd rather play it nice and slow, specifically with the random pickup group. First boss, Kyamora. And I would like to get to full mana before we're uh, giving it a go. Shaman is not full of mana either, but apparently our warrior feels very confident in this. Good, we're medium on the threat meter, but we're doing very good damage on bosses, as you can see. Um, yeah, that's a straight upgrade. Need that.
And unfortunately, we're not getting it. Well, that's a theme for our character. I'm not surprised. People want to be undead because uh, they all of a sudden can hold their breath a little bit longer. Understandably so. It's a good race. I'll sit through that one. Of course, only if we're not pulling uh, an ad. Good, so far things are actually going very well. Our tank knows what he's doing, can hold aggro nicely. And we're getting single pulls. Too scary so I don't need to use any cooldowns here. Good. The hunter should put his pet, uh, pet, by the way, on guard and not on aggressive. So in terms of dungeon quests, we need uh, Lordus Jet as well as Fathom Core.
All right, the group so far seems very uh, competent. I like uh, what we've put together, but it's just the beginning. It's a larger dungeon, so we're going to see how well that plays out over time. Little hiccups here and there, of course, such as the pet, but this it is what it is. Right, let's hope uh, people are watching their breath. So we're leaving uh, the Naga and Murdoch area and are now coming to Satyrs. I've decursed earlier, that was a mistake. My bad. I always hate it when people are not decursing or not taking uh, their crop control removal role serious enough. Very good, so we are moving further into the Naga section again. Those Nagas have frost shields, so they are not the, not the easiest uh, prey for frost mages. Now I'm trying to be mana efficient and not just uh, spam my fire blast every single time.
keeping the mana um, up because the way that I see it if uh, things are really going wrong such as this guy just running away then we will need extra mana And if there would have been yet another add on top of the ones that we already had, then of course I would have uh, needed to crowd control that. fight all around and people are appreciating having an H in the party that is always good I appreciate being in the party as well Just need to get a little bit uh, up in the mana. So I'll just sit this one out. I'm surprised uh, how the Enhancement Shaman is dealing quite a bit of damage, actually. What kind of weapon is he rocking? too far away can't inspect him I'll check a little bit later all right finally we're back uh, with mana like I said I personally like to have full mana pulling from different angles party in here Although we didn't 
top the damage meters in this one. I think the contribution uh, was good by simply crowd controlling two of them actually, counter spelling and so on. All of that takes away from the DPS, but it is nonetheless uh, required. biggest fan of his totems here. I'll drink through that. And there's another boss. Hmm. I wonder, is our tank looking at the mana from time to time? Because we have one person drinking. I mean, I get it. He wants to clear it fast, but there's no need to uh, not even wait those 20 seconds. <laughs> Frost damage done by 15. Oh, yeah, baby. Careful from behind, man. Hunter could have been definitely more careful. This is uh, the type of pull uh, that gets you killed or in deep trouble a little bit uh, later in the dungeons. The people are just not looking through their surroundings. That's unfortunate. I will get full mana because I learned that with this group uh, that might be necessary.
Good. Lorgus Jet, that's uh, one of the guys for our quests. Hides behind a few uh, satyrs, but that will not save him. Interrupted his lightning bolt, and down he goes. Hmm. Spirit and stamina or intellect and spirit? I like stamina a lot. And I even won them. Okay, cool. I feel I do have enough uh, mana overall as it is. So, a few more hit points are helpful. Intellect. Hmm. It's almost a little bit better than the one that I'm having. The Ropes of Arogal, uh, I think it's agreed for me. Rothschild can have it. Okay, so far things are going good. I'll get back to full uh, mana, just in case. I think I might not cheap uh, with Pulse of Two. The Hunter is just breaking uh, crowd control like crazy. And I do understand that he feels uh, that Two is a pull that is very much hand handleable. I do not fault him for that.
Good. Now we're coming to the uh, core part of the dungeon. Or the more central part. Couple of Twilight uh, cultists here. And we need to make sure that this is an area which I remember distinctively had a lot of potential ads in here. So the name of the game is just don't pull them. careful here he can easily add yep he's doing the right thing I'm staying outside of cleave range and the rest is good Don't tell me he just wanted the ca uh, the uh, large chest. That's well, not a bad rope. our enhancement shaman all of a sudden standing up here what the Okay, this, these pulls are a little bit tighter now.
Took the mana crystal. And luckily, this guy did not move uh, off in order to pull others. If you don't make your voice uh, hurt, then people will, of course, ignore it. Very carefully here, because there is another pack. We'll try to freeze them so that they can't move uh, back to their friends. That was smooth. Very good. Uh, I think all we need is the head of Calrus and we're pretty much good to go.
There's another, uh, the next named one, old Sicaris. Since I can't region via uh, drinking in the water. Oh, I definitely need these. Since I can't region, I'm trying to be as mana efficient as possible. Okay, so in terms of quests, uh, that one was another one. Okay. We gotta be really careful in the next room. Lots and lots of enemies there. Nice line of sighting. Well done from the tank. Another good line of sight. I stepped into the right elementarist. That was my bad. I thought he couldn't see through uh, the edge, but he very much could. Interesting staff. Pure spell damage for arcane spells. Okay.
having our healer here. Party is a little bit split. That's never great. I sincerely hope that we're not directly pulling the boss. Let's get the other ads uh, done. Very good. So, if he lets me drink, that would be fabulous because then we can. Well, start the fight with a whole set of mana, but of course. The warrior just wants to get it done. Yeah, not everybody needs to uh, needs to do it. I remember there are always more incoming.
All right, at least the tank listens when you say you need a small mana break. Good. That was actually incredibly well done from the group overall. Really appreciate how smooth and flawless the dungeon goes. They're even listening to when uh, when you need mana. Who would have thought? That was pretty damn good. Nothing else to say. I tried two times. I remember Akumai had a really nasty debuff. Yeah, Frenzied Rage. Let's focus on the fight and not on the loot. Our threat meter is fine, thanks to the lower uh, th uh, threat that we're uh, dealing overall. Thank you. 
I actually would need those, but I don't think that I'll get them. I think I'll just go back uh, to Ogrima, turn on all of the quests, and uh, call it a night. That was a pretty good group overall, all things considered. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, appreciate uh, your viewership and appreciate uh, the dungeon overall. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode of Diaries of Death. Bye-bye.